It's without doubt a story that has disgusted people right across the country in a revolting incident on an Air India London bound flight. A lizard, take a look at that picture on your screen, first put out here on India Today. It was found in the meal tray served to a passenger. The incident took place on a Delhi London flight, AI triple one, soon after it took off. The lunch, which was wrapped in cling film, had a lizard scurrying from under the burger you can see in that picture. The aircraft crew offered to replace the tray, but the angry, the justifiably furious passenger refused and later filed a complaint with Air India. The unfortunate incident comes at a time when the national carrier is battling a huge debt of over 40,000 crore rupees. And as you can imagine, this photograph has gone viral on the internet. DG is, of course, police, so they have to do their investigation. I understand one life was also lost. So it's not a thing where it's a very serious thing. Of course, there has also been vandalism. And the country can ill afford such type of work. incidents. Because this uh, throws total Indian aviation in my mind. It cannot happen this way. It's a serious thing and action will be taken. The Civil Aviation Minister has reacted to the India Today story and said action will be taken. We've opened our phone lines. We've already got some callers. Usha Rao calling from Bengaluru and Varun from Mumbai. Uh, Usha, I, if I could come to you first. Your first reaction when you saw this picture and you heard this story, Usha. Yeah, good afternoon. You know, the very sight of the lizard on the platter flashed on the TV screen makes me sick. It's such a repulsive sight. You know, many, many a times on earlier occasions, we have, we have had to gulp down cold and insipid food on flight. Yes. But a lizard in the food is just too much, you know. If it is lizard today, I wonder what is next. And, no, and another thing, a lizard in one's meal is not a health hazard, not just a health hazard. But it could have proved fatal if an unwary passenger on that flight had eaten it. And this happened on our national carrier, Air India. What a shame. You know, one pays through, one slows for an air ticket. And is this what we get in return? Okay, and to speak from personal experience, I remember on an Indian Airlines flight from Mumbai to Bangalore a few years ago, we were served with stale chutney with idli, yes. which resulted in my son suffering from food poisoning. So, so to say that air travelers have lost trust in airline food is an understatement. Your point is well taken, Usha Rao. It, the trust is completely gone in airline food. And you're saying that it's an understatement to say the trust is gone. We're going to put out special graphics because Usha Rao, our caller, and Varun, I'm just coming to you in a moment. We're going to put out some graphics to tell you that a lizard in your food isn't just fun and games. That is something that could actually kill you. The effects of lizard poisoning in food have been recorded in other parts of the world and have found to be potentially lethal. We'll put those graphics on air in just a moment. But Varun is calling in from Mumbai. I want to know what his views are. Varun, go ahead. Hello. Yes, Varun, go ahead. Yeah. So this is a national scene for all of us, especially our national carrier serving this kind of food. This is a this is the biggest shame. Uh, whereas our Prime Minister is trying to make a good image of our country, but our national carrier owned by the owned and run by the government, they are serving this kind of food. So this is a big, big shame. So uh, I am seriously, uh, what we feel is, had uh, anyone got uh, food poison or uh, could have been fatal also, then only government would have uh, taken any action. I was very, very ashamed yes. to see the reaction of our aviation minister also. He just uh, said action would be taken. What action would be taken? Till now, uh, not only the uh, this carrier, yes. but almost all the private carriers also, the food which is served is stale, is not up to the mark. Like, uh, I have a suggestion for the government. Like, all uh, shops uh, are... Uh, uh, are uh, examined by the Food and Drug Administration Department. It's air food. It's a good. Uh, it's a good suggestion, uh, Varun. I take your point. You're saying that even airline food should be subjected to the same kinds of quality standards and checks and balances as other food. Perhaps the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India ought to extend its jurisdiction over airline food as well. That point is well taken. We will 
a report more on that as well. We're getting a third caller, Sanjay calling in from Bengaluru this afternoon. Sanjay, what's on your mind? What was your reaction when you saw that picture? Well, my first reaction was uh, not only disgusting, uh, I would just like to tell you that uh, I'm so glad that I have uh, decided to cancel my uh, cancer. I mean, I decided to cancel my recent trip to London uh, to Air India flight and uh, booked a new flight. If right. these kind of things happen, I would surely would not want to uh, travel in our national carrier. I mean, uh, I would just would like to tell you that we need to check the food from so from the, from where the, the source. Yes, we need to know where the food comes from. The reason is because in the country where hygiene is given the least priority, so uh, even if this kind of happy things happen in the recent advertisement in the, in the, that we always see on the TV, they say that you know we are proud to be Indian because we fly Air India. So is this what they are actually projecting to the world? I'm sure, you know, the world would be watching it and it would be disgusting. Air India would go down further. Your, your point is absolutely right, uh, Mr. Niyogi. You're saying that hygiene is not a priority. And what kind of image are we really point, painting to the world if the national carrier, this happens on your national carrier on one of the busiest sectors, the Delhi-London sector is one of Air India's busiest sectors and it's on this sector that it happens, not that it is permissible on any other sector. Venu Gopal is our next caller calling in from Delhi. Venu Gopal, go ahead. Uh, yeah, hi, Shiv. How are you? Good, good. Go ahead. Good. Okay, so what, uh, I'm sorry, there might be a disturbance because we are experiencing a severe storm in Delhi right now. Okay, uh, I'm not at all surprised that this uh, thing what that's happened in Air India, but let me tell you something. Uh, I think this, uh, the quality of food which is served in every area, whether it's Air India or any private airline, so the money they charge is absolutely substantive. I have had an issue once when I was served a coffee which was tasting horrible and there was some problem with the ready mix which they served in Indigo Airline in Bangalore. When I highlighted yes. this to them, they refused to access it. And that actually the price they were, the lady was very arrogant. I took it up with the airline but nothing came out of it. I'm not at all surprised that this is strange okay. in this country. We are going after Maggie when we have such things happening, 80 90% of the people. That's a really good point you make, Venu Gopal. We're going after the branded foods when we've got live lizards in airline trays. But there's a fresh twist, there's a piece of breaking news coming in here that, you know, turns the story a bit on its head. We're going to get in uh, our colleague uh, Pankaj Upadhyay to get some more clarity on this. Air India has issued a statement strongly denying this incident. They've said that the lizard in meal in the uh, lizard in the meal tray incident uh, is false. It has investigated the incident and found it to be false and baseless based on a complaint and saying that no such complaint by any passenger of the flight has been received on board the flight or at the Air India office in London. They've not denied that the incident actually happened. They've only denied that they have received any official complaint in this regard. So let's go across to Pankaj Upadhyay for more on this. Pankaj, what's the story? Uh, Shiv, if I may tell you, I, I just remember two of my earlier stories that we broke here. First was on 22nd August 14, when a cockroach was found in the meals. Then second on 11th of September 2014, when worms are found in the sandwich. And this latest story, 11 June 2015, lizard found in the food tray. Now, why I'm referring to these stories is no action was taken. Yes. You know, Air India said they would be investigating these matters. And ultimately what happened, Air India completely denied that the incident ever took place. And what's depressing and uh, uh, rather unfortunate this point of time when these incidents are concerned is that Air India is just not willing to take the responsibility. So this is a cover-up. You're saying, Pankaj, that this is a possible cover-up. Absolutely. Because, you know, because these we have videos to substantiate yeah. the stories that we have done in the past and we've got a picture here as well. In fact, if I may tell the viewers, if I may, if the Air India management is listening, the crew on board have given us these pictures. Yes. So the Air India management saying that incident never happened at all seems so very hilarious. They are running uh, for cover. You know, I've been asking the management since yesterday. I got these pictures yesterday. Since yesterday, I've been asking them, what is the truth? How is it that this lizard has been found in the food tray? I've been getting no answers. In fact, uh, to my surprise, Air India management today says that there was no complaint at all, that this entire story is false. And this is the reason I say this is absolutely But we should clarify to our scenario. viewers, Pankaj, that Air India is not saying that the lizard was not found. They are merely saying that they have not received any complaint. They're not denying the story itself. They are just denying that any complaint has been received, which may be technically correct. But let's also remind our viewers that the civil aviation minister has already reacted and called this a dreadful affair.
and they will get to the bottom of it. So that image of that lizard you see on your screens right now is authentic. It was on an Air India flight from Delhi to London. The Air India board now says that nothing, nothing like this has happened. We have received no complaint. We will get more information on this for you right here on India Today. I know